First up on the show, the Israeli army has released a video showing strikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon as fears of an all-out war grow. The U.S. aircraft carrier Abraham Lincoln entered West Asia waters as tensions remain high over Iran's threat to retaliate against Israel. This as U.S. President Joe Biden pushed the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu to reach a ceasefire deal with Hamas in Gaza. Biden also updated Netanyahu on the U.S. efforts to support Israel's defense against threats from Iran and its proxy groups. The White House said the U.S. president stressed on urgency of reaching a deal during the call. The Vice President Kamala Harris also took part in this call that came hours after the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken wrapped up his tour of West Asia. Meanwhile, Israel has released a video showing what, what it says is uh, airstrikes in Lebanon. The Israeli army has said that it targeted Hezbollah military structures in response to a rocket attack. The attack came after Hezbollah said it had fired the Katyusha rockets at an Israeli military logistics site in Golan Heights. Uh, it also fired a swarm of drones on military posts in northern Israel, about 22 kilometers from the Lebanese border, in retaliation to earlier Israeli airstrikes in the Beka area. Now, the U.S. Central Command said that a second U.S. Navy aircraft carrier, the USS Abraham Lincoln, arrived in West Asia as well. The carrier, equipped with F-35 fighter jets, added to the U.S. ships already in the region, including the USS Theodore Roosevelt aircraft carrier, which arrived in mid-July. Now, on the diplomatic front, negotiations uh, are heading back. Negotiators are heading back to Cairo to try and iron out details of a possible deal. The current proposal put together by the U.S., Egypt and Qatar and other, uh, over several weeks in July is said to be the strongest form of a deal to date. Israel is reportedly now on board, but Hamas has said in public statements that it will not accept the pact. Netanyahu, who visited an Air Force base in northern Israel, said that Israel is prepared for any scenario, both in defense as well as offense. I am here at the Air Force base to closely monitor our preparations against threats both near and far. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. The Israeli Defense Minister Yorav Gallant traveled to Gaza to assess the military operations that resulted in what they, in what he says is the defeat of the Rafah Brigade and the destruction of over 150 tunnels. Meanwhile, Gazans are again on the run as they have fled the western area of Khan Yunus after an Israeli evacuation order once again. <laughs> Death is more merciful in this country. We were displaced 20 times. I swear to God our houses and tents were struck. They do not want us to live. Oh God, they even do not want us to enjoy our life. Gaza Civil Emergency Service claimed that the Israeli military struck a school and a nearby house in Gaza City on Wednesday, killing at least three people and wounding 15. Palestinian health officials have claimed the Israeli airstrikes across Gaza have killed at least 50 Palestinians in the past 24 hours. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.